all right so welcome back now um, we're going to create the batman inherit from bad bird and man classes into batman class add an extra property using motorcycle class object during initialization second inherit from bad bird man and motorcycle class third inherit from no classes inheritance is rubbish i would rather save a lot of time by implementing everything from ground zero i am really sorry i was sleeping in the first half i was studying the whole night and the pet was not feeling well and so on and so forth so this is a trivia for you to find out what's the right answer i hope all of you get the answer right here uh, you can see the answer but it is better that you don't see the answer and you try to solve it in several lines um, in seven lines create a batman class using appropriate inheritance so they are saying that create a batman in seven lines right so the thrust is on creating a batman look here i have the bad bird and the man right so this is multiple inheritance within bracket Using uh, these Batman class, create a Wolf Christian Bale, who is the actor of Batman object. So how are we doing? We have done everything. Now what we are doing is we are just taking bits and pieces and we are creating our Batman. So I, um, so when I am creating this Christian Bale underscore Batman, which is Batman skin color is equal is equals to pitch black. I am giving so many dimensions to it: eye color, weight, height, uh, max sound intensity, max speed cloth color languages uh, money in account programming experience kilos left so on and so forth right once i have done that fill christian bale under batman object super ba bike we have to fill the tag now we may need to use more than one dot so christian bale underscore batman dot batman underscore super bike dot fill petrol you remember that there was a bike there was a moped there was a cycle how everything was created so batman is using a super bike of course he's a batman he's the ba he is the batman so he's going to use the super bike so before the batman could start the bike 50 opponents came and stopped he must fight them he he must first make bat sound for five seconds to scare the opponent then he must fight and throw a hundred kg stone at them and then he must fight them so so on and so forth you can give so many dimensions to it you can create your own uh, way uh, you can just play around with what you want your batman to do now what i have done here is he defeated all of them but he just received a message that 200 kilometers away there is an enemy location he should speak Spanish, get inside the facility, hack 50 computers in no time, fight 100 opponents and come back. Implement one step in one block. If you need help, then consider this. He must start the bike at 120 km per hour. Increase the speed by 150 km per hour by 150, not 2. Travel 200 km, stop the bike and then he should speak Spanish, get inside the facility, so on and so forth. These are the conditions I am giving to my Batman. You can give whatever you want. If you don't want him to speak Spanish, you want him to speak German or French, you can do that. But make sure it has to be in an order. You cannot just uh, out of the blue say, okay, uh, I will just change it here. So you have to get into the de uh, depth of the program and see where you have mentioned language and what language have you mentioned. So all these things you have to take care of. For iron range 50, Christian Bale uh, underscore Batman dot hack computers. So this is printed 50 times. Then um, what is he doing? Number of opponents. I know you don't worry about losing or win uh, winning. Efforts is all about that you want. So things like that. You know, it's really it's really cool. All my students really love this uh, Batman project, and they thoroughly enjoy this. And it's really funny and nice and you know you can play around with so many aspect of it they do whatever they want to do with the project i just give them the skeleton and they make their own project so you can do it as well so that's that and uh, so the uh, many gotham city citizens were injured in fight batman decides to donate uh, this is like five 
thousand. So this is a lot. Uh, this is a very big figure. Uh, let's just say five hundred thousand, right? Uh, a little more than that. Make this donation. So he's making donation. Um, so this is the logo for Batman. And uh, again, uh, you know, there are so many things we are doing. We are uh, playing with the speed. Uh, we have made the speed up to four hundred kilometers per hour. Right, so tomorrow we are going to see the last pillar of Python, which is graph charts and visualization. At the end of tomorrow's lecture, project will be distributed. Um, now this is for the college students. This is not for you. Uh, so this is for the college students. So please ignore this line. Um, I hope you enjoyed this Bat Batman project, and I hope that you are going to play around with uh, different uh, permutations and combinations, and you are going to come up with your own version of Batman uh, or any other Superman or anything that you want to create. So thank you, and we will move on to the next bit of the lecture.